Delhi High Court on Wednesday has reserved uh, its verdict on the plea moved by Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal, challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Rectorate in the money laundering case related to the alleged liquor policy scam case. Kejriwal is currently in judicial custody. He was arrested on the night of 21st March. On 22nd March, the trial court had demanded him to six days of ED custody, which was extended by a further four days. On the 1st of April, he was remanded to judicial custody till the 15th of April. Earlier, Justice Sharma denied any interim relief to Kejriwal and only issued a notice uh, on his plea challenging the arrest as well as his interim application seeking release. Well, the ED, of course, has said that he is the kingpin of this uh, uh, scam and uh, that is why his custody is needed. My colleague Akshit has filed a ground report on this big story. Now, no major relief for the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in which he is challenging his arrest by the Enforcement Directorate because the High Court, the Delhi High Court have, you know, reserved their order in the plea uh, in which uh, yesterday uh, we saw some hard-nosed arguments uh, by Enforcement Directorate and uh, Arvind Kejriwal's counsel, Abhishek Manu Singh, we in equal measure in the Delhi High Court. Uh, because uh, just to give you a perspective, uh, ED said uh, that uh, those who have looted the country and those who are criminals uh, will have to stay behind the bars and they cannot cite elections as the mere re reason uh, to challenge their arrest. Meanwhile, uh, Abhishek Manu Singh, who is the counsel for Arvind Kejriwal, uh, said that the attempt is aimed at, uh, at you know, uh, demolishing the Aam Aadmi Party and also to humiliate Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. I come to you live from Delhi High Court, of course, uh, just to show you some visuals out there, uh, because it's it's quite likely that Delhi High Court will take up this matter uh, for hearing today and uh, might also uh, deliver uh, their judgment in this case. Uh, meanwhile, if I just tell you that additional Solicitor General S.V. Raju, uh, who is uh, appearing for ED, said uh, that the Kejriwal's petition uh, challenging his arrest uh, by the pro agency uh, should be rejected uh, and they've also uh, said that they want to attach some of the properties uh, of uh, Ahmadi party uh, but uh, they are in a dilemma to do so uh, meanwhile uh, they, they they have also said that the investigation uh, of uh, you know uh, the the whole uh, Delhi excise uh, policy case uh, and of course uh, on Arvind Kejriwal is at a nascent stage uh, and of course they need more time for the custody uh, well if i can just uh, you know uh, just go through as to what actually panned out in the court yesterday uh, then uh, you know abhishek manu singh uh, who is appearing for arvind kejriwal uh, also uh, put out some uh, strong arguments uh, saying uh, that it's uh, uh, he said uh, that we need to look at the timing of the arrest uh, because uh, as we know arvind kejriwal has been uh, you know sent to judicial custody uh, till april uh, 15th and of course when we uh, talk about the timing of the arrest, arrest then he has said that uh, that it is coming close on the heels uh, of the Lok Sabha elections in 2024, of course, uh, just weeks away. Uh, and he also made one very strong uh, point saying uh, that the level playing field is quite, uh, you know, uh, is, is actually an, uh, an imperative when it comes to a democracy uh, which we are in right now. Uh, and uh, very importantly, some of the, uh, you know, instances uh, and the statements were also cited by Abhishek Manu Singhvi uh, of Raghav Reddy, uh, Manguta Reddy and Sarath Reddy and said uh, that initially uh, they did not have anything against Kejriwal, but uh, later uh, they, uh, you know, gave statements against Kejriwal, uh, which implicated him. Uh, and uh, they were also, you know, turned government approver uh, and were also, uh, uh, you know, released out on bail uh, and uh, without any objection of ED of the back pain. Uh, and he also questioned the haste, the urgency uh, to basically arrest uh, uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Well, uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, when we look at it uh, from a larger perspective, uh, then it's, it's quite clear that, um, you know, uh, that uh, ED is saying that they have established the money trail and they've located the money trail. Uh, and uh, which, which may have been used uh, for the election campaigning also in Goa. Uh, that's what uh, they earlier also said. Uh, so, of course, uh, you know, it's very likely that uh, Delhi High Court will deliver its uh, judgment today. Uh, meanwhile, it's also important that uh, Arvind Kejriwal only uh, said in the special rouse when he court uh, that he does not uh, oppose his remand. And that's, uh, you know, also one of the points uh, which ED raised. And very importantly, uh, Abhishek Manu Singh we also said that, uh, you know, under Section 50 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, uh, they have not recorded anything uh, because there is a gap between the first arrest uh, and, uh, uh, I beg your pardon, uh, between the first summon and the arrest. Uh, and uh, 
section 50 actually empowers to collect evidence uh, which forms the basis of the arrest and he said uh, that uh, nothing has been recorded at the time of arrest uh, from his home also on March 21. So of course it will be very crucial to see as to uh, what uh, if, if, if there is any hearing uh, then what decision actually comes out because it's also crucial for the people of the national capital uh, so that uh, there is no constitutional crisis when the government is run uh, from behind the bars. In New Delhi with camera person Ankush Akshat Gupta for NewsX. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.